Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What's the first thing you think of when you hear Beethoven? Does your brain automatically go, ba 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 bum? If that's the case, then half the battle is already won. Tonight, we want to take you through some of Beethoven's most popular works that best showcase his unpredictable yet wonderful style. Beethoven was rigorously trained by his father, who wanted him to be the next Mozart. There was no doubt that he was a talented musician, with sparks of creative imagination never seen before. He struggled with sums and spellings his entire life and himself said, music comes more readily than words. After his father's death, he moved to Vienna to further his musical development. He studied piano with Hayden, vocal composition with Antonio Celery, and counterpoint with Joan Albertsberg. Beethoven quickly established a reputation as a virtuoso pianist who was especially adept at improvisation. The maestro's own words hold true. Music is a higher revelation than all wisdom and philosophy. Despite his rapidly progressing deafness, he kept composing at a furious pace. From 1803 to 1812, what is known as his middle or heroic period, he composed an opera, six symphonies, four solo concerti, five string quartets, six string sonatas, seven piano sonatas, five sets of piano variations, four overtures, four trios, two sets, and 72 songs. Without further ado, let's begin this musical evening where our performers will play for you some of Beethoven's most popular pieces best suited to their individual musical ability. I request you to either switch off your phones or put them on silent mode. Let me also remind you that no photography or videography is allowed. Now, I would like to call Prajakta, who will introduce the first performer for the evening. Cushy. Ludwig van Beethoven is one of the most widely known composers in the world. He was born in 1770 in Bonn, Germany. He was an innovator and a groundbreaker in all senses. He oversaw the transition of music from the classical style full of poise and balance to the romantic style characterized by emotion and impact. Let's begin with one of his most famous works, one which most kids grew up with. This well-known tune also holds its place in the show, Little Einstein's. I'd like to call on stage Nyati Shah, who will perform Fuhr Elise.
Beethoven drew his talent from his grandfather and namesake, Kapellmeister Ludwig van Beethoven. His grandfather was Bonn's most prosperous and eminent musician and a source of endless pride for young Ludwig. Here's Gandharva with a variation on the Paisiello. Beethoven studied the violin and the clavier with his father and took additional lessons from organists around the town. There was no doubt that he was a prodigiously talented musician from his earliest days. Now, I present Om Vedant with Bagatel in A minor. Biographers have hypothesized that Beethoven may have had mild dyslexia. At age 10, he withdrew from school to study music full-time. At the age of 12, Beethoven, Beethoven published his first composition, a set of piano variations. Next up is Alamande, a lively dance number by Adi Shri. Thank you. 
on his first visit to Vienna, 17-year-old Beethoven was scheduled to perform for Mozart. No one really knows what happened in that fateful meeting, but myth has it that Mozart walked out of the room saying, keep your eyes on him, someday he'll give the world something to talk about. Next, we have Aditi Roy with German dance. Piano Sonata number 14 in C sharp minor, Quasi Una Fantasia, Opus 27, number 2, popularly known as Moonlight Sonata, still remain one of Be Beethoven's most famous works. The piece was completed in 1801, published the following year, and premiered by the composer himself, whose hearing was at still adequate but had started to deteriorate. This piece is said to have been dedicated to one of his pupils, Countess Giulietta Gucciardi. We call upon stage Harshita to play a rendition of Moonlight Sonata.
Vienna, Beethoven dedicated himself wholeheartedly to musical study with the most eminent musicians of his age. The musical knowledge that Beethoven acquired and interpreted, together with an unmatched capacity to constantly work, made him one of the most knowledgeable composers of his time. Drishtant will now take the stage with Sonatina in G major. premiere of Symphony No. 7, the piece you'll hear next, Beethoven was noted as remarking that it was one of his best works. The work was premiered with Beethoven himself conducted in v Vienna on 8th December 1813 at a charity concert for soldiers wounded in the Battle of Hanau. Here I present Akanksha with Symphony No. 7. In the span of five years from 1795 to 1799, Beethoven created various works. The most important of them are piano sonatas. In the same period, he came up with the ideas for the extraordinary string quartets, Opus 18, and for Symphony No. 1, works that promoted a whole new instrumental style. Rajiv Murli will now play for us Minuet in G.
here uh, actually now we have the interval so uh, okay. I would like to call upon Roshni Now we have a 15 minutes break, uh, so <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, 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 yeah, so you can carry on with. Yeah, I, I mean. <laughs> 